and with your spirit, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went across the Sea of Galilee. A large crowd followed him because they saw the signs he was performing on the sick. Jesus went up on the mountain, and then he sat down with his disciples. Now the Jewish feast of Passover was near. When Jesus raised his eyes and saw that a large crowd was coming to him, he said to Philip, where can we buy enough food for them to eat? He said this to test him because he himself knew what he was going to do. Philip answered, 200 days wages worth of food would not be enough for each of them to have a little. One of the disciples, Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter said to him, there is a boy here who has five barley loaves and two fish but what good are these for so many? Jesus said, have the people recline. Now there was a great deal of grass at that place, so the men reclined, about 5,000 in number. Then Jesus took the loaves, gave thanks, and distributed them to those who were reclining, and also as much of the fish as they wanted. When they had had all their fill, he said to his disciples, gather the fragments left over so that nothing will be wasted. So they collected them and filled 12 wicker baskets with fragments from the five barley loaves that had been more than they could eat. When the people saw the sign that he had done, they said, truly, this is the prophet, the one who is to come into the world. Since Jesus knew that they were going to come and carry him off to make him king, he withdrew again to the mountain alone. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Two scripture points and then just a thought on this particular reading. Remember that none of the four evangelists, Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John, personally knew Jesus and they wrote long after his death. Mark, the earliest gospel, wasn't written until the year 65. John, the last of the gospels, wasn't written until the year 125. And the gospels are not historical documents. They are simply prayerful reflections on what happened with each evangelist having a different theme in mind and addressing a different audience. And each of them picked miracle stories and parables that they might use in their gospel that might not get used in any other gospel. For example, Luke is the only one to give us the parable of the prodigal son. He's the only one that gives us the parable of the good Samaritan. Why? Because these were consistent with Luke's portrait of Jesus as being all forgiving and all healing. But this gospel that we just heard, the multiplication of the loaves and fishes, is the only miracle story found in all four gospels. It obviously was very important to the early Christians. And secondly, in Matthew, Mark, and Luke, the Last Supper is focused on Jesus instituting the Eucharist giving us his body and blood. In John, there's no mention of that. In John, the Last Supper is focused on the washing of the feet, that Jesus comes to serve and not to be served. For John, the Eucharist is instituted in this multiplication of the loaves and the fishes. And that leads us to what Pope Francis is inviting us to do today. In this case, Jesus fed people who were physically hungry. When we come to the table of the Lord to be fed, he feeds our spiritual hunger. And Pope Francis is inviting people, everyone, including the divorced and remarried, to come to the table of the Lord and be fed. We have to forget what we were taught as children. I was taught that if I went to confession, was in the state of grace, and fasted from midnight, I could receive communion. And Pope Francis shakes his head and says, no, go to the gospel. It is about being fed, about being nurtured. And we all need to be fed and nourished. In some dioceses in Germany, the bishops have invited all of the non-Catholic spouses of Catholics in their diocese to also come to the table of the Lord to be fed. Things are changing, and we need to keep abreast of them. Amen.